In this video, we will demonstrate assembly and termination of the ClearLine SSF Tactical LC Connector. The ClearLine SSF Tactical LC Connector is compatible only with ClearLine SSF LC Connectors. The male duplex connector housing shown in this video is paired with a female aluminum socket, which is sold separately. The components of the male duplex connector housing are the following. End cap. Outer housing cover. Connector housing. Connector clasp. Clasp retaining ring, inner housing, cable split grommet, compression nut. Additional required materials are Clearline SSF two strand tactical breakout cable in single mode or multi mode according to installation requirements. SSF LC connectors in single mode or multi mode matching the cable used, a Clearline SSF fiber termination kit, and a small flathead jeweler size screwdriver. Disassemble male tactical housing. Remove cable split grommet halves from the inner housing. Slide compression nut inner housing and outer housing onto the cable as shown. Mark outer jacket at 70 millimeters. Using cable strippers, remove jacketing. Mark subunits at 28 millimeters from end of jacket. Disassemble LC connectors. Slide LC connector boot and 2 mm build-up tube included with connector pack onto each cable subunit. Using 900 micron opening on strippers from 28 mm mark, remove subunit jacketing. Separate fibers from aramid yarns. Place LC connector onto VFL using LC type adapter. Ensure activator tab is in open position, slide towards rear of connector. Using only fingertips or nails, remove soft peel 250 micron coating to within 12 millimeters or one half inch of cable jacket. Cleave fiber measuring from subunit jacket. For SSFLC, the cleave length is 24 millimeters. Insert fiber into rear of connector until slight bow is created. Light emitting from connector window will dim and or extinguish. Slide activator tab towards connector tip. Ensuring fiber is straight, hold aramid yarns to one side. Seat 2 mm tube at rear of connector and close hinge. Slide boot forward. Thread boot one full turn to lock in aramid strands and cut aramid yarns close to boot. Remove connector from VFL. Install dust cap. Tighten boot until secure. Using 900 micron opening on strippers from 28 millimeter mark, remove jacketing on second subunit. Separate fibers from aramid yarns. Using only fingertips or nails, remove soft peel 250 micron coating to within 12 millimeters or one half inch of cable jacket. 
cleave fiber measuring from subunit jacket. For SSFLC, the cleave length is 24 millimeters. With second connector on BFL as previously shown, insert fiber into rear connector until slight bow is created. Light emitting from connector window will dim and or extinguish. Slide activator tab forward. Ensure fiber is straight holding aramid yarns to one side. Seat 2mm tube at rear of connector and close hinge. Slide boot forward. Thread boot one full turn to lock in aramid strands. Cut aramid yarns close to boot. Remove connector from VFL. Install dust cap. Tighten boot until secure. Place both connectors in connector clasp with tapered ends forward. Snap top half of clasp in place. From the thread end of the metal connector housing, insert the assembled connectors in the connector clasp as shown. Press clasp retaining ring against a hard surface to slightly compress. Place clasp retaining ring at rear of connector housing, starting at one end with tip of jeweler-sized flathead screwdriver seat retaining ring into place. Depress release tab on top of outer housing cover. Slide metal connector housing into outer housing. Slide inner housing forward, meeting with metal connector housing within outer housing. Tighten inner housing until secure. Place the two each cable split grommet halves into the rear of the inner housing. Slide compression nut forward and tighten until secure on rear of inner housing. For more information and to view the Tactical LC Connector Disassembly video, visit the resource page at clearlinefiber.com.